appreciate. Practicing your numbers, Gordon. That's a good engine. Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. Signed, Head of the Railway, Sir Topham Hatt. Please excuse me, I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's looking after us while Sir Topham Hatt takes a much needed holiday. Coffee Pot is just a nickname for an engine with a boiler that points up in the air. Like those things people make coffee in. Coffee Pot engines used to look after one of the branch lines, but they don't work there now. Although I think the last one might still be on a siding. I don't know, Thomas. I can't explain it. I just am, and I don't like being teased about it. Oh, I don't worry all the time, Thomas. I hardly worry at all when it's sunny. You need to wake up, Thomas. It's nearly time for the express. Gordon will be waiting for his coaches. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm counting how many seconds late you are. <laughs> what does that sign say? James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job. Hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine, hmm? Who, Thomas, or small? Small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. <laughs> you weren't concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. My wheels were feeling worn out with work, so Sir Topham Hatt told me to think about all the ways I can be a really useful engine. And when I have, I can come out again. Look at me. I am the smartest, most useful engine on the line. It's too bad. Percy goes to work at the harbour and I do his job here, there and everywhere. Take that. What a clever plan. What a clever plan. Oh, but Mr. Conductor, without your sparkle or the last engine, you can't travel here to help us anymore. Uh, Thomas, uh, I was thinking, how does Mr. Conductor travel here? But if there's a lost engine, maybe there's a lost railway too. Mr. Conductor's railway. Buffers are at the end of a railway. I think that's how he travels here, on a secret railway. So, Thomas, we must get Lily back to her grandpa now in case Diesel gets rid of the railway. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. And if he finds her, I fear that will destroy us all. I'm sorry, you two. Diesel heard every word you said. Oh, no. I'm going after him to see what he does next. You'd better carry on and get the mail delivered. Oh, Diesel won't bother with an old engine like me. He thinks I'm really useless. Well, I guess it's okay. But these books are not for circulation. Reference only. And leave the reshelving to me. Got it? Sometimes. But the good thing about loved ones is uh, they eventually die too. But then everybody's together again. Uh, that's why the hardest thing about dying is leaving all your stuff behind. But, really, shouldn't the borrower remain responsible? Troll magic. It's just, uh, works differently. You can't counter a troll spell with witch magic. You know, days like today remind me of summers back on the Great Western Railway. We carried so many holiday makers, they used to call it the Sunshine Line. I don't have any steam, James. The water has put out my firebox. Of course! I used to pull them on the Great Western Railway. You're a muckle nuisance. It's to leave you behind, I be wanting. You're nothing but a screeching and a noise when all's said and done. There's more coming should you misbehave. Anyone would think that Donald had had his accident on purpose. I heard tell about an engine and some tar wagons. Well, well, well. Surely, James, it wasn't you. You didn't say. We'll show them. All I do is shunt these freight cars onto the turntable. I long for a nice run. It's what an engine really needs. Percy's far too busy to be bothered with the likes of you. His name's Tiger Moth, and it's flying around telling everyone about the fair that's arriving today. You're a very useful brake van, Toad. You help me break, and you keep my freight cars in order when we go down hills. A pond is the only place for a toad, I suppose. <laughs>